We're here with Sally Dinover and Amy Kelly, who play Sally and Maddie from Coronation Street. You're here to tell us a little bit about the crash. Mm-hmm. Can you just kind of talk us through it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's a nice out, and yeah. we're going on an awards ceremony. Yeah, we're all in high spirits. There's a lot of singing on the bus, daft things that you do on a school trip, really, stuff that you'd see on a school trip. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it, actually. It was yeah. like being on a school trip. <laughs> um, and then... Everything just goes a little bit pear-shaped. Yeah. um, There's some boy races that distract Steve, um, and he retaliates badly, and literally go over the edge. And the the bus flips over, doesn't Mm -hmm. it? The bus flips over, and it's it's on the edge of a quarry, Mm -hmm. and um, most of us get out, apart from Carla, and... um, and then the bus goes over the edge. <gasps> mm-hmm. It's so dramatic. <laughs> yeah. And normally in these sorts of situations, you could imagine Sally really taking charge, but actually the roles are sort of reversed and Maddie's the yeah. one who has to step into the breach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think with that, I think with Maddie's past, I think she's just used to going into autopilot. When yeah. disaster strikes, I think she's just used to taking charge and going, right, you need to do this, I'm going to do this, go. <laughs> um, and I like the fact that she was... Not necessarily a hero, but I like the fact that she saved a lot of people and I think maybe people will kind of find a little bit more respect for Maddie as a, as a character. I think people might maybe sit back and go, there's more to this girl than I thought, OK. And to do it with the factory lot is really yeah, proving exactly. herself as well. Yeah, well, yeah I, was, I was really shocked when I got the scripts because obviously Maddie's not been working in Underworld all that long. So, yeah, I was really, really lucky to be part of this. It's been a hell of an experience. It's been amazing. And Maddie saves Sally to yeah. all purposes. I think it's probably bonded their relationship, mm-hmm. the fact yep. that she, um, she saved her and she looked after her, so yeah, it's yeah. good in the end. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they really don't get on, so what, was there the possibility that she wouldn't help her, do you think, at any time? Or? No, no, I don't think so. No, I don't no. think so. I think they have been getting on. Yeah, they have been getting on, and I think, you know, there might be the odd scene where we do mouth off at each, mouth off at each other, but, you know, old habits die hard. Yeah, no, I don't think there was ever going to be a chance that Maddie would let anything happen to any of them, really. And is that a responsibility towards Sophie as well, that she was yeah. feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't want to not save her mum. Yeah, exactly. There is a little scene in that where I do, I do start panicking and thinking that Sal's not going to wake up. But, yeah. And how does Sophie react? Um, she, I think she's just really glad that we're both safe. There's a scene where we come around the corner um, in the hospital and she sees us and just runs towards us. And that was, that was emotional to film. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And obviously you've been in the show for a long time, 29 years this month. And have you ever been involved in something like this before to such an extent? Um, it, it, filming wise, yeah. I mean, um, no, I suppose the uh, the tram crash on the uh, live episode is the nearest I've got. But we didn't do um, green screen then, so this is the first time that we've worked with green screen. And so to be out in the middle of the night in what looked like a sort of misty mirror, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that mist was a bit real. scary. It was yeah. real. Yeah, that wasn't put in. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And after twenty nine years, is Sally still growing and developing as a character? Do you think? So I think she likes being bossy and snobby yeah. and bitchy and um, yeah, and it's great. I love it. Still surprising you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what are you hoping for Maddie in 2015? Um, I hope that she doesn't lose her edginess. I really like every now and again I'll get a scene where I'm being cocky and I'm being a little bit rude. And some of the lines are a bit, ooh, I shouldn't have said that. But yeah, I, I love I love when Maddie's like that because I think, you know, as a strong character, somebody who's so set in her ways, I don't think she would lose that. So I hope that she doesn't lose it this year. Smashing. And if you had to tell our audience at home why they should tune in to watch the Crash episode, what would you say? Because it's amazing. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we all worked incredibly hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be modest. We really did work so, so hard. And Upside down. Exactly, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got to tune in just literally. for that. Wow. And yeah. So how did that happen? How did that work? Um, we were harnessed in. We all had harnesses um, that was stitched to our costume at one point. But did you, it had to come through your pocket, didn't it? Mm. Yeah, we'd have to um, pull holes in our costumes and um, the loop of the harness would be poking through our pockets and we'd be clipped to the seat belts and Yeah. Pretty Stop scary. Lifting you up and <gasps> putting you in place yeah. and then leaving you there for half an hour. It's oh quite God. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not a normal day at work. No, then. No, no. No. Well, thank you so much for talking to yeah, me. That was you. great.